Hello, my name is Gisela Calixto and my new berry author is Paul Fleshman. Paul Fleshman was born in Monterrey, California. But he grew up in Santa Monica, California. Paul Fleshman grew up in a home where reading and writing were very important. His father was an author whose name was Sid Fleshman. He won the Newbery Award for the novel The Whipping Boy. Paul Fleshman has fond memories of his father reading books aloud to the family, of listening to the radio with his mother and exploring the many books in his father's study. Paul Fleshman and his father are the only father and son pair to ever win this prize. As his father was writing his books, he would read them to Paul chapter by chapter. As a child, Paul did not seem to have much interest in writing. Instead, he would bicycle around his town collecting odd bits of trash which he later made into sculptures. After graduating from high school, Paul attended to the University of California at Berkeley from 1970 to 1972. At the age of 19, he took a cross-country bicycle and train trip which ended with him living in a 200-year-old house in New Hampshire. Having the opportunity to live an 18th century lifestyle with no electricity or phones where he had to warm up his house burning wood. With this experience, he was led to his historical fiction dealing with the Puritans, Indian Wars and the Civil War. After his trip, he returned to finish his education at the University of New Mexico, obtaining his master's degree in 1977. In this same year, when he was about to graduate from the university, he was casting around for a suitable occupation. Writing presented itself to him as a real possibility because he had witnessed his father's success as an author. Fleshman worked as a bookstore clerk, library shopper, and proofreader. Fleshman's first book, The Birthday Tree, showed that he had potential as an author, and from that first book, he has branched out into a wide range of themes and styles. One of Paul's first books is called The Animal Hedge. It is a non-fiction children's book about a farmer and his three sons living in a farm where a terrible drought befalls the land. The farmer must sell his livestock and move to a tiny cottage with only a hedge around it. His sons are confused in what careers they should follow. The farmer's sons find their careers of their dreams at the end of the story and they return to their father's farm. In 1989, Paul Fleshman won the Newbery Medal for Joyful Noise. The book is a collection of 14 children poems about insects such as lice and honeybees. The concept is unusual in that the poems are to be read aloud by two people. Some lines are spoken by the readers simultaneously while others are read alternately by the speakers. In this same year, 1989, Paul Fleshman won the Boston Globe Hornbook Awards with the same book, Joyful Noises. Fleshman also won the Scott O'Dell Award, which is awarded to the year's best work of historical fiction for children or young adults for his Civil War Bull Run. In this book, Fleshman highlights the well-known Civil War battle as seen through the eyes of 16 different men and women. Other awards Paul has received from other books he has written are the Scott O'Dell's Award, 
the National Book Award, and the Parents' Choice Award. Time Train is another book about Miss Pym's class trip on a mysterious trip to learn about dinosaurs. Dateline Troy is an example of historical fiction. This book is a retelling of the Trojan War. Sid Folks is another book he wrote. This book is a wonderful and moving book about taking chances. This book was written essentially as a middle grade novel. The story is told from 13 different points of view, appealing to all ages. Another fiction book he wrote is Whirlick. This book is about a drunk teenage boy who kills a girl while driving. His life is transformed by fulfilling a request of the girl's mother. This book brings peace, joy, and equilibrium. Westlandia is about a boy named Wesley who needs a summer project. Wesley has no friends and while he is doing his project, he discovers a mysterious plant growing in his parents' backyard. This plant provides him with a food source and allows him to build shelter and tools. He creates his own land and then all his classmates and neighbors and people around him want to be part of it. Big Talk is another poem book which is similar to Joyful Noise with four voices instead of four. Glass Slipper Gold Sandal is a book that has multicultural diversity. This book tells a story that begins in Mexico, continues in Korea, then Iraq, until 17 variants from Appalachia to Seville unfold the story in sequence. Fleshman blends the different versions skillfully adapting Irish literature and Appalachian literature. This book makes the old tale of Cinderella new again. Dunderhead is a picture book. This book is a school story that brings us a group of friends with nicknames that suit their individual talents. Their names are Pencil, Spider, Hollywood, Wheels, Clips, Junkyard, Google Eyes, Nails, Einstein, and Speedball. These kids go up against a teacher whose name is Miss Breakbone. She is a mean teacher who dislikes kids. Every time she made a student cry, she gave herself a gold star. The class has a plan to teach her a lesson that she will never forget. This book is illustrated by David Roberts. He uses pen and ink illustrations with geometric designs with portraits to create his own style and this visually detailed book that makes Fleshman's characters to a team. The colors and expressions of the kids remain bright and attractive. This book is a great read aloud, but more than that, it fills that gaping hole of books for readers transitioning from beginning to read books who are still overwhelmed by longer chapter books. Also, for those visual learners, the multi-paneled illustrations will keep them hooked from start to finish. The Burning Room is another story where life and love begin and loss is born. The Burning Room is a room that figures the life of an Ohio farm girl born in 1851. Lot's family's Ohio farmhouse, the civil war rages, slavery falls, and the world marvels at the wonder of electricity. Inside, within the walls of the Burning Room, Georgina Lott will experience her life's greatest turnings. Across the years, she discovers womanhood and first love. She also experiences the mourning that comes with loss, and as did her mother and her grandmother, at last takes her place in the room as another precious life is about to begin. Paul Fleshman continues to write books and he has been seeing, signing, and giving interviews about his books. 
He now lives with his wife in California.